Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total Realism with me, Grey Hunter, where we were planning the invasion of Gaul. Or Greece. I still haven't decided which. Though Gaul looks like a pretty tempting target. I mean, they've got small armies here. In fact, they don't really even have armies. They've got a little bit of one here. They've got some warbands. Some stuff. I don't know what. Some more stuff that I don't know what. But I think we have, if I remember correctly, a few... No, I've got one spy that we can send out to look. So, what chance do you have? 93%. We know what's in there. So basically, he's got a good chance to get everywhere. I want this city because it's on the coast. But I'm torn between going for Pavatium first. Could we get there in one turn if we marched from here? No. Okay, so... Yeah, these two will be the first to fall. So, Spyman. No, come here. Yes. Spyman, I need you to go investigate. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good job. Okay. So, he has become sneaky. And we now know that they have a warband, a skirmisher warband, and another warband. And the faction heir. He's actually a good commander. Hmm. But we've got a ton of money at the moment, so I'm thinking that it might be time to splurge on the mercenary front. I know we can get Gallic Slingers in some of these places, if we're lucky. So I think we'll go for something like that to strengthen up this guy's skirmish screen. I will also go... Oh, I've already got the spies queued up. Excellent. I thought ahead. But I will begin mustering some reinforcements as well. So we'll get uh, a unit of Festati, two units actually, and two of Principes. Mm, no, you will get two Astarte. You, Rome, will get two Velites. Much better. So these guys are generally just going to be moving up to follow the army as it heads through. I'm not going to conquer Gaul. I just want this bit. I want to secure our northern front. Because if we secure our northern front, we only have to worry about them from this side. Because as far as we can tell, this is rebel. This was rebel as well. Oh, it's all one region. Okay, so Noricum is this, I assume. Yeah. Okay, and the Illyrians... I'm worried about them a little bit. I was thinking that it might be an idea to send our armies into Greece to <clears throat> to rescue them, but I don't think we can. I mean, we don't have an army to contend with the Greeks at the moment, so we'll get some spies. We'll send this Byrium. Was it a trireme? A trireme. We'll send the trireme across the, uh, the straits, and we'll put some spies over here. We won't send them into cities or anything. We'll just have them sit around watching. Because I'm a bit worried about the Illyrians due to the fact that their capital is under siege. That's still free. That's still free. Okay. But they might lose their capital. And the Greeks, if we have a look at our faction rankings, where are they? Carthage, Parthia, Pontus, Gauls. Uh, well, we'll include the Illyrians and the Greek cities. There we go. So if we go to military ranking, we're almost on par with them, but the Illyrians have taken a nosedive. Like, the Greeks and the Illyrians, I think, started a fight there, and then, whew, nosedive. Which is a bit of a problem, because they're meant to be our allies. You know, the ones that we <laughs> help, or the ones that help us. But, on the other hand, should the Greeks take this area, when we eventually move in and attack them, it will be a nice, rich province. Granted, a lot of Greece is nice and rich, but this bit, Illyria here, has so many mines. So many mines. But we can't do anything with them just yet, so for now, we'll just concentrate on building things up. Do we need to build any more buildings? Actually, what's our uh, capital look like? Yeah, we, we got a bit of money. We have a bit of money left over. Do we need to build anything specific? Nope, you're already working on phase two. You guys are doing that. You don't have anything being built. Oh, yeah, actually, an armorer would be good. Can Ancona build one? They haven't even got a blacksmith yet. But they could. I think they're the right city size. 
Yeah, they are the right city size. So an armorer in these places would be perfect because they're generally where we're getting the most uh, of our troops from. Ready to sail. This fleet doesn't really need to do anything at the moment, so I'm going to send them down here to link up with Admiral Queso. Because Queso's got some Quinquiremes, and we probably won't have to face any Gallic navy, but I'd like to start trying to clear out the pirates around us, because pirates are probably going to be a big threat between here and the island of Crete, and we want the Greek city that's on Crete. There's two in this mod, so we want to get over there and take it as quickly as we can, because I hope, I don't remember if you can or not, but I hope that one of the militia units you can get from there are the Cretan archers, because Cretan archers are, as I've stated before, I'm pretty sure, fucking awesome. So let us end the turn and see what happens. Iberia. If I remember right from my last recording session, you gentlemen are at war with the Gauls. So yes, we will take your alliance. And I would like to have maps if you can give them to us. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. So now we know the territory that the Gauls control. They've got an army here under Captain Karatok, which I will send this spy, if he can make it. He can. I want him to go have a look and see what Karatok's got. He doesn't have to infiltrate the army, but I'd like to know. War bands. Okay. Ah, they took the garrison from here and here and sent it that way, or at least this one they did. I don't know where they sent that garrison. Hmm. That's actually really good for us. So is it winter yet? Because I don't want to invade in winter. No. Okay, it's not winter yet, so let us invade after we've checked out our messages. So the Illyrians are the richest faction. We've got some people getting new things. Mm, nothing particularly fantastic, except Publius Cornelius Scipio. What have you got? You got a priest of Jupiter. No, you're not any good anyway. Okay, um, in that case... I think what we're going to do is we're just going to overview everything here. You guys have got some other stuff coming. You are going to go investigate Medulanium. Go. Nice. Okay, so all these areas are really, really lightly garrisoned. That's brilliant, actually, for us. So the Iberians and us have got an alliance. The Illyrians and the Greek cities are apparently client kingdoms, but it still says they're at war, I think, whenever that happens. Yeah, they're still under siege. So I'm confused, because if they're client kingdoms, they're protectorates, they shouldn't be at war with each other. That is confuzzling, but sort of irrelevant. So Ancona, you've got that coming on up, excellent. Syracuse, you are doing quite well, actually. Have you got our Phase 1 Auxilia? You do. Okay, so we should be able to build our second one, shouldn't we? Ah, that's right. That's why we're building the stables, because then we can get it. Tarentum, you guys are working on good stuff. Excellent. And you have spies. Well, Croton and you have spies. So you get on the boat. And you get on the boat and disembark over there. Come here. Can you make it in there? You could. You've got a 93%. Whoa, God, what is that? Investigate. Okay. He's a decent commander, and he has a fuck ton of hoplites. That's worrying, actually. That's very worrying, because those Illyrians will not be able to fight that, I don't think. They've got some hoplites, they've got light hoplites, and they've got some Illyrian slaves. That's interesting. 
Though it sort of fits, because the Illyrians were generally pirate types anyway. Uh, they've got a warband. Yeah, they generally don't have enough men. They're, they're not going to be able to do it. Hmm. At your service. Well. You might as well get in there, actually. Seeing as you had a 100% chance. Can you get... Hmm. See, Apollonia would be a nice place to take as well. It would be a good foothold. We might do that. Yes, I'm going to send you a little bit that way. See what you can see. Well, you found another army. Another army of hoplites. That is not a good sign. Although it might be, depending on what they did, because if they've emptied most of their cities of garrisons in order to send that army out there, that is a good sign. But it's whether or not they did that. So let's have a look at our profit, because we've got a lot of it now, hopefully. 2,800. That's pretty good. That's a decent profit margin. I can work with that. So you've got a bit of a hodgepodge army. But it should be enough to take Benonia, so march on there. Yep. They're going to be pissed off. And... Hmm. What's in there? You and a warband. Okay, so we could assault it. I prefer not to. But we could. Let's have a look at the mercenaries. Dibs. Gallic nobles, dibs. Warband versus Swordsman. Swordsman. So 2,500 on him for mercenaries. You probably won't need anything until we actually take this place. So in here they've just got a dude, don't they? Yeah, he could tear us up. But he's just one guy. So we'll grab those slingers. But we won't take anything else for now. We'll uh, probably garrison it with our Italian swordsmen and then move on with them after our reinforcement army heads up. So these guys have a choice. They can turn back and they can try to kill us or they can continue on. This guy should give us enough warning if they decide to march through this mountain pass, but I'm just going to check that he hasn't missed anything. Okay, good. So, if they try to come through the mountain pass over here, we'll know about it. If they try to come through here, I don't think they will. Because it's still owned by the Rebs. So, I'm going to send him over. Hello. Okay, so that's where the rest of this garrison went. It went north through that mountain pass. Good. So, we'll know where they're coming from. And pass blocked, yada yada yada. Don't really need to do anything else there. You've got all the men I want you to grab. Okay, we're set. And, and turn. You have land I want. If you're willing to give me the land that I want, then sure. So let's offer trade rights and map info. And we'll demand that you give us Pavatium, this one, Benonia, and that one. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's, that's what I thought, actually. Oh, hello. Alright. Captain Caratok and Lugotrix. Lug Lugotorix? Lugor... That guy, Lugo. We're just going to call him Lugo. Okay, so Titus Amelia Scorus has 1,800 men. This guy, we're about even in numbers. But we've got the quality on our side. Generally. Because like, it's including all of these guys, which is fair enough, but the main force is this lot, and they are outnumbered. But we've got some slingers, which is good, and we're on the defensive, and he's generally got fairly bad infantry, and only one unit of cavalry being Lugotrix. We've got two, plus our general. So let's get onto the battle map, and hopefully we'll be able to fight a very defensive battle that kill everyone in that town garrison and manage to take the town now because that'll give us time to retrain and rearm hopefully but I'm fairly certain that next turn as in the one that's just about to begin is winter the afterlife will have many Ooh, plain. 
Make sure that yours isn't among them, and all will be well. <laughs> Battle now awaits us. The girls nice. Themselves. He just makes me think of uh, Russell Crowe from Gladiator. You know that whole uh, if you find yourself alone, riding in the in the green fields with the sun on your face and the wind at your back. Do not be troubled, for you're already dead, and you're in Elysium. So, let's set up our line. Like this. You guys, actually no, don't worry about defensive. Uh, the Triarii and the Spearmen are going to go on one flank. You guys are going to go on the other. You gentlemen are our skirmish screen, and you are our reserve. Cavalry group together. Okay, so let's get everyone straightened up. We'll hold the right with the Italians, like that, because they've got javelins as well. And we'll place the Gallic swordsmen on their flank to support them. And we'll place the Triarii and the Spearmen on the other side. Because hopefully they'll be able to tar pit anyone who comes at this flank. And to aid them in that endeavour, we'll place our cavalry on our left as well. Like that. Yep. So our general is going to get a bit of a workout for this one. Because although these guys are heavy cav, we need to take out that general. That they have coming with them. Lugo, Lugo Turix. So we'll need them to be on the ball. I won't worry about uh, loose ranks for these slingers because we already know that they are bringing no missile units whatsoever. The enemy so we'll put them ahead in a pathetic attempt to save themselves. like that. And we'll put them on skirmish and they can run. Sweet. So the goals are coming straight for us. Which is really all they can do, because they don't actually have any troops that are missile units. They've just got warbands. Oh, and they're banging their shields. If we could get closer, but I, I've left on restricted cam. So we can't, you know, cheat by going over there and inspecting exactly what he's got if we don't remember. Well, they'll probably do it again before they get to us. Hopefully. Because it does look pretty cool, actually. Actually, let's go over here and get our, uh, our guys to do it. Wee. Bang, 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 bang. So the idea behind the war cry, just as a brief uh, interlude, is that warriors would do it to unnerve the enemy. They'd just stand there and they'd put their shields up and they'd go, put them up like that. Oh, you can't see it, but I'm, I'm gesturing. And they'd bang their, sh their swords against the iron rims of the, well, the metallic rims. Generally, they didn't use iron; it was more bronze and the like. And they um, they would wrap them against the the rim of the shield, and it would scare the bejesus out of people. It was sort of like a scare tactic, I guess. Our slingers are doing their thing. Come on, one good hit. Nice. All right, you guys need to fall back. In fact, I'm going to just get you guys behind the lines entirely. Go before you get swamped. And then we can turn them off skirmish because they won't have to worry about it. So they're going a little slow. They're turning to face our line and apparently sending one unit in advance. Is it going to try and march past our spear line? I don't know. Looks like it's going for the Italians. Well. Triari, you hit them in the flank. Murder them. Alright, there we go. Okay, with the exception of you, everyone else lob javelins. You, I want you to keep them, for now. Okay. Doing pretty good. Now, hopefully the slingers don't hit our own dudes, because that would be terribly unfortunate. These swordsmen, though, march over here and prepare to assault. Alright, 
Attack. 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 Charge. Charge. Go. Don't worry about pretty lines, just attack them. Hit them. Hit them hard. So we could move our cavalry in to take out these guys, but the Triarii and the Italians are doing just fine on their own. And we've broken that flank. So Italians get in there, Gallic swordsmen follow them. Italians attack. Alright. So these guys are shaken, but not stirred. You Italians can get over here too. I want you to jump in on these fellas. Attack. And cavalry. No, not yet. Attack! Nice. Alright, there we go, we broke them. So you guys attack them. Actually, Prinkapes attack them. Italians attack them. These guys should get a little bit worried about people running. Perfect. Alright. So I want these folks to reform a line here. And you can join them. Like that. Cavalry, you're going to pursue. So I'm going to bring back our main troops to hold this line like that. And leave our allies and cavalry to run everyone else down. So you guys attack them too. The enemy show their true All right, the general's dead. They Perfect. Soldiers, now you guys chase them. You chase them. You chase them. We're going to have to make sure that our own cavalry doesn't get caught by his, though. Because our cavalry unit... Our cavalry units are fairly squishy because they follow a lot of historical stuff. So, we need to worry a bit about that. Slain, and now oh good, they got him. Us. It is time to press the attack. I'm gonna bring the slingers up behind us. Yeah, that's what I thought he'd do. Here he comes. Alright, well that field army is not the biggest worry we've got. So, we'll pull back. We can continue the pursuit another day. Actually, the Italians can attack. The Italians will continue pursuit. These guys are going to have to fight these fellas. So I'm going to hold these fellas back. You can assault, and you can follow him in. So, give me a cheer. Alright, there we go. Barbarians, and attack in the flank. Alright, the cav is doing its job. I want our nobles to pull back out. Well, got this unit here. Run them down. Infantry, pin him down and get him. There we go. Alright, General, run yourself back out of there. Please. And charge again. Double charge. He should run in a minute. So, Italian Cav, get here. You're fresher, most likely. No, you're winded. Alright, General Cav, get out of there again. Fall back. And we'll hit him from behind. There we go. Get him. Alright. Where's our noble Cav? Yeah. Try to run down them first. We might have to besiege him anyway. Damn, 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 damn. Victory seems certain. What are you fighting? Oh! <laughs> Oops. Alright, well, General, come back here. I completely forgot about that one unit of uh, war band he brought with him. Well, the Triarii are doing fine. Victory seems certain and all that jazz. So uh, just, just give him a charge. And you should be able to hit him in the rear and run him down. Alright, come on. Come on, get in there. 
They're wavering. They should run as soon as he taps them in the back. So... Give him another cheer. And his calf should hit him hard. Three, two, one. Sploosh! The gods be praised! Kill him. The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they flee! Nice. Good job, Triarii. Fall back. I'm pretty sure they lost like six men in that one, the Triarii. They did a good job though. And you guys aren't doing anything. Yeah. Italians, come back. You, you're not doing so fantastic with that whole pursuit thing, so we'll send the cav. It's what they do. So we lost some of our cavalry, but we didn't pay too big of a price for it. I mean, if we look at this, we've lost 8% of our force for 92% of theirs. Less than 10%. And we've pretty much obliterated them. And our numbers were equal. The Gauls did not have the infantry to deal with our cavalry, which was nice, and they did not have infantry quality to deal with our main infantry, because our main infantry just tore through them, which is true for the Romans at least. Of course, the lack of proper spear units means that they can't really face off against things like our cavalry when it charges, and I'll just speed this up to finish it off faster. So we've essentially obliterated his force. Some remnants got away, including uh, Lugotorix himself, which means that we won't just walk in and take the city. I'm fairly certain that he lives, and so we'll still be garrisoning it. Uh, but that's not too bad. I mean, we lost just over a hundred and something men. It's not bad at all, really. And we got a lot of the spearmen back. Got some of the Principes back. Did we get any of the Noble Cavalry back? No. No. But it could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse, actually. So, I'm fairly happy with that as a battle. We did quite well. And we crushed the main force in the area, which is a brilliant thing because, you know, they have no tactical reserve around here anymore. Well, I can't show you because the mouse is deactivated during turn switching. But we took out the entire force that was mobile around here. Of course, now it's winter. Uh, but we'd already started these campaigns. I don't really want to fight our way into either of these cities, so I'm just going to chill. And hopefully, if they send a larger army towards us, we can trap them and do the same thing we did last time. The nice thing is that cities under siege cannot rebuild units. So he's only got himself. That's all he's got. And did Titus, Aemilius, what's-his-face get anything cool? Well, I don't know, but we did finish the Auxilia Phase 2, which is excellent, and we can begin the Auxilia Phase 3, so let's do so. Or at least we will eventually. Cool, cool. Diplomatic info, the Thracians and the Egyptians are allies, the Greek cities and the Illyrians are apparently client states again, but they're still sieging. I am confuzzled. Oh, that was very close. I forgot to move him back. I thought uh, pirates would get him. But Queso, you got your f yeah, you've got your reinforcements now. So head out towards this area and inspect Crete. Want to have a look and see what you can get over there? Uh, got some Velites. Hastati and Principes. We could probably start moving units up the line. But we don't really need to at this point. I'm not going to bother. Uh, did yes. you get kicked out of here? Yes, you did. He's got Light Cav, Warband, and himself. And you're just slowly having a rave there, dude. Look like you're having fun. Okay. So we didn't really recruit all that much. Everything's all good. Really, right now, there's not all that much to do in terms of turns. We're making a bit of money, but we spent most of it on ordering stuff up. Which is fine. I mean, we need to make money somehow, so we need to build these buildings. Regium. You're about to finish roads. That would be swell. And then I guess you can get a market. We'll probably queue this stuff up now, just to save time for later. So you guys have already got some infrastructure. So have you... 
Paste them. Have you got a market? You do have a market. Excellent. You could probably get a forum, but I won't bother with that right now. You, in one turn, can get a great forum. Nah. We will bump up your tax rate, though. And to compensate for that, we'll get you a Minor Temple of Saturnus in series. 